Hi everybody, it is March 7, 2019. I want to thank my subscriber for passing this along to me, Executive Order on Revocation of Reporting Requirements. Trump just revoked the requirement of the uh, Director of the National Intelligence, uh, Secretary of Defense, hell, just revoke all public records regarding civilian deaths due to U.S. military operations. Yeah, Trump is no different than Obama like Obama was no different than Bush like Bush was no different than Clinton. Are you getting the picture yet? I hope so. So yeah, all right. What is, um, what is more important here, and I've stated this, on I don't know how many videos, these executive orders are grossly unconstitutional executive orders. They have established that we have a king, a king that can write law or repeal law by decree with the stroke of a pen. The National uh, Defense Authorization Act he has revoked sections of the 2016, 2018, and 2019 uh, National Defense Authorization Acts that are passed by Congress. This is passed by Congress, and then the president signs into law. But now, Trump, uh, being you know just a another puppet of those behind the curtain, um, has revoked parts of law that were passed by Congress. How, how could that be? Our government does not operate like a government that does not have three branches of government. It is not, oh, it has no oversight. It is a corporation, guys. Please do the research. I'm not talking to you. I am talking to our lost fellow Americans. Um, so yeah, this this is not how our government is supposed to work. Okay, we've set up a government due to these executive orders. We've set up a government that has a king that can pass laws or revoke laws by decree. Now, what does this mean exactly? That the Secretary of Defense is no longer required to report the number of civilian deaths carried out by U.S. military operations, that the Director of National Intelligence is no longer required to report strikes or deaths. Hell, no more public reports. We don't have to do any of that. Trump now can just kill in complete secret and understand this, when any of these laws are passed, you know, and signed by president, um, especially when it relates to our military, they always give themselves wiggle room. You know, well, yeah, you're required to present public reports to, you know, collect the data. And these reports are supposed to be unclassified as long as it doesn't pose a threat to the national security interest of the United States. So they get to determine what the threat is, whether or not they're going to report it, and you know damn well the numbers they report are not the truth. So yeah, now Trump can kill in secret, complete secret, and he's given himself that power. Uh, Trump has increased the number of drone strikes dramatically since Obama. Oh, right. Obama increased the number of drone strikes since Bush. It's just been increasing. So I want to bring your attention to two sites. The Bureau of Investigative Journalism is one. And I've reported or I've provided you guys with the information that was provided by the investigative journalism site. Um, I never saw this page though, so maybe they've updated and 
included this page, Explore the Database, but they only have four countries. So what you do to find out um, how many strikes, how many people killed in these particular countries. Why are we in Yemen? Oh, probably at the direction of Saudi Arabia. Um, if you want to know how many strikes since Obama, I mean since Bush came in, put in January 27, and then to now, hit create report, and the number of killed, 200 and anywhere in between 213 and 278 injured 12 to 16 we have no business no business whatsoever in Yemen but why not kill more people right we're good at that um, let's do Afghanistan and since Trump reported killed 1,589, or in between 1,589 and 2,497. Uh, injured anywhere in between 224 and 445. And you can find out where those strikes were. Um, since our military is not providing any of this information, you can find it on other sites that is doing their best to collect the information, uh, but the minimum confirmed strikes, 6,786, total killed, 8,459, or uh, 12,105 civilians killed, anywhere between 769 and 1,725. Children killed, anywhere from 253 to 397. But we love children. Oh, we love children. Let's kill them with our drone strikes. Um, you can read and find out about the drone strikes and covert operations in Yemen, Somalia, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. All right, latest from the investigation. Uh, CIA-backed Afghan unit accused of atrocities is able to call in airstrikes. Uh, in photos. Let's do this. In photos, when a U.S. strike hits a family home. We love children. Yeah, they have stories here. This is what we are doing. To children. Great, isn't it? This is who we are, guys. Now, if you're trying to convince yourself that we are, you know, a good country, a, a, a moral country, then you're only deluding yourself. All right, I want to also include this site, New America, America's Counterterrorism Wars, Drone Strikes Yemen. Uh, they also have other uh, drone strikes, Somalia, air strikes and civilian casualties in Libya. Uh, yes, the wars continue in many countries, also in Pakistan. So let's do Yemen since we're right here. So, in the last six months, there were four drone strikes, um, total strikes overall, 276, civilian casualties overall, one, uh, in between 116 and 149, total casualties, 1,000, in between 1,350 and 1,741. And... Yes, there have been more drone strikes under under um, Trump. Let's do Somalia. Did you even know we're we're in war in many African countries, but Somalia? All right. 
uh, strikes in the last six months, 44. Total strikes overall, 144. Civilian casualties and total strikes, I believe. We started this in 2003. <laughs> Civilian casualties anywhere from 22 to 37. Total casualties anywhere from 1,186 to 100, uh, 1,341. Uh, the most recent strike was February 28, 29, 26 dead. So, Trump presided over an unprecedented escalation of the U.S. counterterrorism war in Somalia in 2017. He conducted twice as many operations in Somalia as had been conducted in any year since the start of the program, uh, start of the war. With this escalation and subsequent policy changes, he intensified a war that had persisted through, or though, at a slower pace since 2003, and which had killed more than 350 people before Trump took office. This is who we are. We're a killing machine. We are a killing machine. And we do not have a democracy. We don't have a constitutional republic. The people have no voice. We've got a king who can write law or revoke law by decree. And, well, we just kill all links of blood.